Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is going to be a three store makeup haul. <laughs> I went to Ulta, which I'm actually excited because I've never gone to Ulta before. I went to the e.l.f. store. Again, I've never been to the e.l.f. store in Manhattan. And then I just shopped online on Sephora, but I went into their store today so we can just pretend that I bought this stuff from their store. Let's get started, shall we? And I am going to start with Ulta, just because I've never been there and it was a trek. It was about an hour and a half to get there, but I was hanging out with my friend Gigi, so it was fine. Um, so let's get into it. First thing that I bought, I'm just taking from what I can see first, it is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Exposed. And this is the Exposed palette, so every color um, in here is exposed, like it's all from the exposed line and I have, this is a little picture, it is the full size lip surgeon's lip gloss, oh no, this right here, there you go, full size lip surgeon's power pigment, full size 12 hour cheek tint, and the deluxe Amazonian clay 12 hour blush, which I actually have the full size of, but whatever, I messed up, I thought it was the captivating kit, but it was the exposed instead, so it's fine. So yeah, these are really natural colors, but I actually really like the blush, and I'm pretty sure I'll like these things. Like, this is what the tint looks like. It's just really natural and pretty, but the blush will make you look just like you're glowing from within, which is what I like, so I'm pretty sure the lip products are going to be really good as well. Um, and this was $34, which, and normally it's $87 in value. So, you know. So the next thing that I got was the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. And I got this because a lot of people that I watch here on YouTube and just people in real life have told me that this is a really good smoothing serum for after you blow dry your hair just to make it smooth and also to make it less frizzy which is my problem. My hair is super frizzy because I am really dehydrated so this is what it looks like and it also adds like shine to your hair which I like you can't really go wrong. I actually got this uh, thrown in. It was a sample size because I got the Tarte kit and it is the Deluxe Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder and the Deluxe Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. I really have never heard of either. I'm not a really big like Tarte person. I have like one, like I have the two of their blushes or three of their blushes and an eyeshadow palette from them but I'm not like really invested in the brand you know like I don't know what's going on with the brand so I'm gonna try them out and see how it goes this is what the smooth operator finishing powder looks like I really like this packaging it looks really luxe but it's just like a white like a HD powder is what it looks like and this is the gifted mascara if you've tried any of these let me know below if it was a positive or negative experience that you've had with them and this is what the wand looks like so we'll see if it can get in there and it just has a regular chemically smell that they all have um, then I finally found these and I bought it on a whim not on a whim I bought it because I was able to find it <laughs> it's the soft lips cube everyone's talking about it this is what it looks like it's just like a little EOS bomb thing but this one is supposed to be better because it's more hydrating and mine is in fresh mint because you know I love my fresh mint and I'm just reading from the packaging because I tore it off like a monster so this is what it is it's just like a little ball it smells really good it doesn't smell as strong um, of mint like the EOS lip balm does this one smells like minted floss like it's subtle but it's there then I got two masks one is a vitamin C microdermabrasion because I have a lot of acne marks and I just got a new friggin pimple today that I popped I know you shouldn't but I did it whatever um, and this is for dull skin and then this is the vitamin E sink in moisture mask and it's intense moisture replenishment I definitely need this because I just found out recently that I actually have dry skin and I thought I had oily skin all along and as I said before I'm really dehydrated I'm trying to drink a lot more water but in the meantime, I need all the moisture I can get. Then I have the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Precision Longwear Eyeliner. And I bought this because they were having, they have like this thing where from September 7th through September 27th, there are certain things that go on like sale. So this was $10. It's normally $20 and it's $10. And it's the same price that I pay for my eyeliners in the drugstore. So I was like, hey, why not try it? Like I said, I don't really know much about the Tarte brand, so I was like, $10, it's fine. This is what the packaging looks like, and it's just the 
precision longwear liner and it's a felt tip so you can get really in there and make your wings really wingy I don't know and it seems to be really black this is it and that was just with like one swoop of the wand and then the last thing that I got was the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics Palette ah I was really looking for this like that's what I mainly went in for um, but I'm excited I it's more cooler toned if I can open it for you I will here we go it's a little whittle thing like this looks just like the first one except this one says it's two and these are the colors it's very cool tone perfect for an everyday smoky eye or just an everyday like neutral eye I love it you can also just add these colors in with another palette if you have it um, you know for different looks so I really like that and the last thing that I got because I guess I got the Naked 2 palette was the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara it's what it says but then oh no yeah Urban Decay Perversion Mascara we'll see now I have like so many damn mascaras but this is what the wand looks like on this one. It's a lot bigger than the Tarte one. And I really like big mascara wands. So let's see. And Perversion is like the blackest black, I believe. I don't know. So that's all that I got from Ulta. Quite a lot, but not as much. Actually, this haul shouldn't be that bad. So anyways. Next, I went to e.l.f. or Eyes, Lips, Face. And I just got a few like little things. I didn't get anything major, but I wanted just to include it in the haul so I didn't look boring. I got the uh, makeup remover cleansing cloth. I really love these and they're three bucks. So I got two because my Avino one is ending and my Avino one is six dollars. If I can find it like on a good day, it's six bucks. If not, it's like eight in Target. Um, and I got these for two for six. And I really like them. They take everything off. Next, I got the HD Lifting Concealer. I want to try that whole like highlighted face thing because I do contour my face. I don't have a contour right now, but I do contour it and I just don't use concealer ever since I went to like a Makeup Forever um, demo class and they were like, you actually don't need concealer. You just put a little extra foundation and you're fine. But I actually want to start trying this out. This is in the color light and this is what it looks like. It reminds me of the Maybelline like Fit Me concealer, just the way that it is. This is it. And this is the color. The thing with e.l.f. is their colors are kind of on the darker side. So that's light. I mean, that looks pretty light compared to my tan skin right now. But some of their foundations are like porcelain and it's like my color. So, And the last thing I got was this nail polish because I want to try the e.l.f. nail polishes. And I can't see like anything. It just says new improved formula and it's too lean for formaldehyde and died oh dbp free and it's just in a really gorgeous purple like glittery color i don't know if you can tell but this one is called dark glitter purple <laughs> they really have to be created for that one and that was all i got from elf and for good old safi or sephora I just got a few things, nothing quite quay. First thing that I got was this Brio Geo uh, Natural Performance Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask because on the like the reviews, everyone was like, excellent, it's good, it's like great, it's the best thing, and I just really need something to fix my hair because um, it intensely repairs and nourishes weak hair. It has rosehip, avocado, and argan oils, and it has no parabens, silicones, or other chemicals in them. And it is for repairing mat. It's a repairing mask for dry, damaged, or chemically treated hair, and I have like all three of those. So this is what the bottle looks like. It is. 5.25 fluid ounces the macadamia hair oil no macadamia deep repair mask has I think eight ounces so it's a little bigger than this one but this is what it looks like it's just like a white cream consistency I don't know if my camera's gonna pick it up there we go and it smells okay you can definitely smell the rose in it but then it has like a bitter smell mixed along with it it's probably like the argan oil or something but anyways we'll see if it works or not I'll keep you guys tuned maybe I'll do a hair video once my hair stops being all fucked up and I got 
just another one of my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in dark brown because mine, uh, I hit pan on both colors, so I just have a backup for it. the dreaded day that I will finish both, both colors. And then I also got this little cutie. Look at how cute it is. It is a full exposure travel kit, right? Travel palette. That's what it is. Full exposure travel palette. Oh, it's so cute. It literally fits like in your pocket. Like, look at how small it is, and it is so thin. And these are what the colors look like. Looks like these are what the colors look like. Learn English. Very cute. I like that they have sparkly colors down here because I would definitely be using them. And then they have more of like warmer tone colors, except for these, which are more on the like cooler side. But yeah, I am ready to dig into this palette, like seriously. If you guys want to see a tutorial or anything or a first impression or anything on any of these, let me know and I will do that for you guys. And then the last thing that I got was the Anastasia. Anastasia brow gel. It's a clear brow gel. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm not gonna take it out or anything. It's clear brow gel. But then I did get some samples. Sorry if you hear that. That's my spray. I have like it on 36 minutes and it just randomly sprays the room. So if you hear a little wow, that's what that is. I don't remember putting this in there, but they sent it to me anyways. It's the Tom Ford Noir perfume. I actually don't like it. I'm gonna give it to my mom or something. It's too musky and old man smelling for me. And then because my birthday was August 23rd, I was able to get the, like, the birthday gift and it is the Makeup Forever Professional Paris Makeup. I don't even know what this is called. It's just a little kit thingy. Because I'm rouge, I also got the um, eye pencil. And it brings the Aqua Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil, the Smoky Extravagant, my absolute favorite mascara and the Rouge Artist Natural N9 Moisturizing Soft Shine Lipstick so this is what it brings it's gonna be awesome I'm gonna try it out then I got a little travel size of the Their Real Push Up Liner which is the Lash Hugging Gel Liner Pen just cause everyone's like going goo gaga over it and I just wanna try it out but I don't know if like once I open it do I have to start using it like right away like will it dry up I don't know cause it came in this little like candy wrapper type of thing so I don't know if they're just trying to be cute with the packaging or what we'll see and then the last thing that I put in here was a hundred point perk it's the Pore Professional by Benefit. I remember I used to love mine. I don't know how I got it, but I got like a deluxe sample of it. But this one is like an itty witty baby one. I just wanted to try it out again. Now that I know that my skin is not oily as I thought, but dry, I want to see if uh, this is still good for my skin. I used to love this, so I want to make sure that I'm still good to use it. And then that is it. Those are um, all of the makeup products that I purchased from the three stores, Ulta, Elf, and Sephora. If you guys want to see anything live and in person, let me know. I'll do a video on them, like any of the um, eyeshadow kits or any of that stuff. Let me know and I will shoot a video for you. And yeah, we're all about done here. All of my links will be down below as well as all the products that I've mentioned. And thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! On the band, what I Everyone and their mom like, talks about this in their videos, but it is seriously about awesome. It is the 